All right, folks, we have an electric coffee for you this month. This is an intense coffee. It's from Colombia, and it's an anaerobic processed coffee from the producer Edwin Noreña, and he is the alchemist of coffee. He wears many hats in the industry. He owns the farm, but he also is an agronomist, and he's an international consultant for processing. He's a Q grader and a judge for the Cup of Excellence. So Edwin... He knows what he's doing, and he is doing a lot of experimentation on his farm with different processing methods, and even pairing them with the variety of coffee. So we're gonna get more into that. First of all, I wanna get brewing. So we're using a V60 for this brew. So first of all, wet your filter. We're gonna get rid of that water. And we're using water at 195 degrees, and the coffee is ground at a medium setting. So on my Barazza Encore, that's 15 is the grind setting. It's medium. And we're using 15 grams of coffee. We're going to brew with a 1 to 16 ratio. So our total water weight that we're going to add to the coffee will be 240 grams. All right, so we're going to flatten our brew bed. And I'm going to add my bloom. Start my timer. My bloom will be 40 grams of water. And quickly, you're going to want to swirl this. This will make sure everything is nice and mixed and saturated so that there's no dry pockets in your bloom. So the bloom is releasing the gases that are formed during the roasting, and this prepares the coffee to be brewed, to be extracted. So at 30 seconds, we're going to add our first pulse and then pause. So our first pulse, you're going to brew up to 140 grams on your scale. So move from the outside to the inside and then back again. So I have one more pulse to brew this coffee with and I'm gonna wait until a minute and 10 seconds to add that last pour. So this is a pretty simple method, uh, just three pours, the bloom, and then two pulses. As you pour, just try to get everything saturated and sunk. And make sure your stream of water is nice and steady. All right, so I'm looking at my scale, and at 240 grams, I'm going to stop pouring. All right, so that's the brew. So the processing of this coffee, there's a lot to unpack uh, when it comes to Mosto juice. So why is it called Mosto juice? Um, Edwin named this coffee Mosto based off of the juice that is formed during the first fermentation. So this is a two-phase anaerobic uh, fermentation coffee. So the first phase, the coffee cherries are placed in a low oxygen tank and they're fermented. And when that fermentation takes place, a juice is created and Edwin gave it the name Mosto. So for this coffee, it's a yellow bourbon and Edwin decided to use yellow bourbon for this particular method because it has high concentrations of fructose and glucose, so it creates a really sweet juice. So after the first phase is done, Edwin takes the coffee out and pulps it, gets rid of the skin, and saves all the juice that was formed from the first fermentation. Then he reintroduces the pulped coffee into the tank with the juice, and for 72 hours, phase two of fermentation in a low oxygen environment, so anaerobic, takes place. And once that second fermentation is completed, instead of washing the coffee with water and getting rid of all the pulp, Edwin instead dries it as a honey. So it's a double anaerobic fermentation and then a honey process drying. So there's a lot going on here, as I mentioned. All of this to say, this coffee gets a ton of acidity and sweetness imparted into the cup. So during an anaerobic fermentation, you get a lot of lactic acid and a lot of yeast, and that imparts a lot of silky body into the cup. So when we roast this coffee, the compounds, compounds that are developed make the mouth feel really, really silky. And also, it, it's almost like candy-like in the flavor and in the aroma. This is a coffee you're not going to want to add cream or sugar to. You're going to want to drink it black and enjoy it. And the reason why I brewed it kind of in a smaller brew, 15 grams to 240 grams of water, 
is because I think this is a coffee you're going to want to savor and sip on and enjoy. So the tasting notes I'm picking up in this coffee, um, it's very intense as I've mentioned. I get black cherry, I get hibiscus, I get like a pink starburst kind of taffy, citric, uh, candy flavor, like strawberry, like pink starburst, and also a juicy mango. So I love this coffee from Edwin. I hope you love it as well. Edwin is a, uh, you can follow him, Alchemista Specialty Coffee on Instagram. He is the alchemist of coffee and he's created something truly special. This is our first time offering one of his coffees. So if you like it, please comment below. Let us know what you thought about this brew and what you thought about this coffee. Hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.